Okay, guys, uh, got this J, uh, part two of this J32 swap in this uh, 03 TL base model. Got the engine out. The car wasn't too bad. It was a little uh, tricky getting it uh, those close clearances on that passenger side there. I ended up having to take my oil filter housing off. Took my radiators out in the front, motor mount loose, had just give me more room. Uh, got the motors sitting out on the floor side by side. I started comparing what, what was different. Uh, I knew my intake manifolds were different. So I tried to swap them out and turns out the J32, the US one, the, the head, the intake for the head it's actually wider than the uh, JDM engine, so I couldn't use these intake manifolds on this engine. So I'm having to use the JDM one, which is fine. It's not going to be a problem. It's just um, one of those things, I guess. Uh, also, I ended up having to swap out my uh, thermostat housing and EGR assembly. This is the JDM one right here at uh, this heater hose outlet. Right here came out, it comes out straight on the JDM one, whereas the USDM one comes out to the side. So that's one reason I had to swap it. And also this coolant tube right here, this is the JDM one. I had to put in the USD one because the JDM one doesn't have the uh, transmission cooler line, which, which is about right here where my thumb's at. It comes out. Whereas this one does right here for my uh, transmission cooler, so I had to swap that whole whole thing out. Um, it's pretty simple; it takes about five minutes. Um, also, I found out my uh, this JDM J32 did not have the coolant temp sensor on this engine. This has been the biggest holdup I've had to deal with so far, but so let me move this out of the way. All right, here's the plug in for your coolant temp sensor. And the JDM engine, it doesn't have that. It, it goes basically you gotta take <clears throat> you gotta take the timing belt off this engine to get to that coolant temp sensor. And uh I fought and fought to get that crank pulley off. I ended up having to hook up a battery and use a starter and a ratchet to bump it to get it to break loose because I my impacts couldn't do it and uh that pulley doesn't have you can't use the uh tool either the uh, crank crankshaft pulley remover tool you can't use that on this but uh anyways I got that off got the timing belt loose and pulled off the cover the, the cam gear and the cover and on the JDM engine, they have this plug right here, like that. That's an H14 size plug. And luckily, I had some, or actually, I, I had an H14 socket I bought. I think I had, I bought it from AutoZone. It was like ten bucks, and I was able to break that loose. They they use uh, RTV silicone from the factory to seal it, so I had to use a torch to heat it up to help me to help break down that sealant and break that loose because that sucker is tight and you don't want it it's very easy to strip this out and you'll have a whole nother world of problems so i heated that up a little bit probably two three minutes with the torch and then i was able to break it loose and get it out of there and i took my usdm coolant temp sensor off my old engine which is this thing right here got my ga o-ring gasket on it right there and that's gonna go something like that right there and bolt it on there and then that's gonna plug in then I can put my timing belt back on cam gears covers all that knickknacks um, I still got to swap out my uh, VTEC pressure switch or whatever back here because this was broke on the JDM one so I got to swap that out but fix this plug I think I'm gonna be able to use this JDM uh, uh, oil filter housing because it's the same right here. 
Nothing's different with it. It's the same uh, J, uh, VTEC solenoid, so I don't have to swap that out. Uh, but I still might have to take it off to get, to get the engine in the car. I know I have to take the oil filter off, put it in the car. Um, let's see what else we got going on. Um, um, I think that's going to be it for now. I'm almost ready to get this thing ready and dropped in the car. I got the harness pretty much on. I got to finish up, button up a few things on it. Put the timing back on it. And then it'll, it should be getting close. Put the intake on it. Finish putting the intake manifold back on. I'm going to swap over my throttle body because the USDM one's got cruise control provisions right here. Whereas the JDM one doesn't, of course. So I got to swap my throttle body over. Um, then I should be ready to put the intake on and be ready to drop this sucker in the car. Uh, let's see. I think that's going to be it as far as what else I had to swap over, but basically not too much, just a few things, a couple trial and error, learning, learning trial and error here on this motor. Um, I am going to have to swap, uh, let's see, yeah, I got to take off my motor mount brackets back here, that's the front one, put the back one on there too, take that off, the old engine, put it on there. Then uh, should be it. Okay, guys, I'll uh, get back to work here and I'll update you guys part three here in a little bit. Thanks.